Meghan Markle is being called out for insulting the British royal family, with a former U.S. political advisor claiming that she has no right to blast the family that made her famous. Lee Cohen blasted Markle for turning on husband Prince Harry's family after they made her famous. He even stated that the Duchess of Sussex would have never become a household name had she not married the prince. They've earned my scorn because they've treated Harry's family very poorly. I don't feel that it's at all productive for them to be criticizing the royal family, he said. Cohen, an expert on Anglo-American matters, also stated, they got what they wanted so it is not right for them to be criticizing the royal family. They stepped back, they have the notoriety already. Earlier, Cohen labeled Markle laughable for sharing her views on the Afghanistan crisis, saying that her only credentials are as an actor, which means she has zero subject matter expertise and can only offer her feelings on issues. Meghan Markle has sparked questions over whether she will enter U.S. politics after she contacted Republican Senators Shelley Moore Capito and Susan Collins on their private numbers to ask to support paid parental leave and a climate policy. Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand had given the numbers to the Duchess of Sussex and said she would be part of a group to work on paid leave long term. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams has since advised Meghan to stop knocking family. Mr. Fitzwilliams told to for Daily, they have enormous potential and Time magazine made them one of their covers for their top 100. There are all sorts of rumors that Meghan might choose politics. It's also a question of whether or not the Oprah interview and its inaccuracies might one day come back to haunt her if she did. Also, it's an open question whether the American public would like Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. That's huge question marks. He added, what advice I would give them, I would say so far as she's concerned. We know she's close to her mother and we know that rest of the relations with her family are disastrous and she's also created a rift with the royal family or at least worsened it by Oprah. If they want whatever future they wanted, don't keep knocking the British royal family or should I say, don't keep knocking your family. They have a very destructive side and Oprah showed that very clearly. It comes as royal commentator Hillary Fordwich pointed out that Meghan is unelected and should not be in the position. Ms. Fordwich said, on the American side of things, we didn't elect Meghan Markle. She's not elected. The Democrat has said there are going to be more phone calls than just those two. She said, I gave out more numbers of senators, there may be more phone calls. She added that Meghan Markle is going to be in a group of people working on how long this paid family leave should be. We didn't elect her. Who wants her to be in that position? That's an issue for Americans to decide. In addition to her podcast series, Archetypes, and her podcast deal, she has appeared on TV with Ellen DeGeneres and written a children's book. Her animated series for Netflix, Pearl, is also said to be due for release later this year. It's inspired by great women in history, and sources say Harry is 100% behind the endeavor. Another royal source says, Meghan and Harry make all decisions together, when it comes to working out what is best for them as a couple and a family. They also made a pact that Meghan would do more stuff by herself and prove she's more than just Harry's wife. They know they get criticized but have vowed to get through tough times together. Both Meghan and Harry are thrilled that she will be able to highlight things that are important to her and show a different side to her. Duncan adds, Meghan seems to be carving a very distinct path for herself. Doors have opened for her and she is taking the limelight. She is lining up all sorts of things, and we are beginning to see her emerge as the primary member of that power couple.